welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make these videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have kind of a fun video. I think it's fun. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to show you how I choose and pack my makeup for when I travel. So I have a couple, <laughs> that was my dog towel. I'm very sorry. Um, but anyway, I have a couple of trips coming up. So just like small trips, nothing crazy. Um, if you're concerned, I am fully vaccinated. And by the time I go on these trips, it'll be two weeks after my second shot. I still plan on wearing my mask and stuff. Um, but this is a personal choice. So I am traveling just a little bit here and there. One of them is a road trip. So, um, but with me getting back into traveling and going on adventures and stuff comes packing again. And so I want to kind of show you how I choose my makeup and how I pack it and stuff so it doesn't get like damaged or anything while I'm traveling. I actually don't do anything too crazy, but I have a little trick to where to put it in your suitcase so it doesn't get damaged. So I kind of have like two different sets of travel makeup. Um, and I'll explain to you as I'm like packing it, why I'm choosing what I'm choosing. But basically the two different ways I like to pack my makeup, it just depends on what we're doing. So like uh, the one road trip we're going on, I know um, I can take a little bit more makeup because A, we're going on a road trip and B, I know um, exactly what we're doing and I know I'm gonna need like a little bit more makeup for like a nice dinner out and stuff. Whereas my other trip, I don't need as much makeup. I'm just going home. We usually do really chill stuff and I end up not wearing a lot of makeup while I'm at home anyway. So I choose different makeup for that kind of trip. So um, kind of like two separate makeup traveling things here. So let's just like head to my makeup drawer over here and I'll explain to you why I'm choosing what. Okay, so first of all, I have two makeup bags here. And my first tip is to do two makeup bags. One for brushes. So I like to put my brushes in this slightly smaller one and then one for your actual makeup. So this kind of helps me in case, you know, something breaks or anything. I don't have makeup all over my brushes. Um, it's all contained to like one bag. So I don't have to worry about things getting all over the place. So the next step in my process, I'm going to go into my makeup drawers. Please excuse how messy they are. They really need to be reorganized. So I like to start, I just like pick things in the order I would do them. Um, so I'm going to start with my like trip home. It's going to be a little bit more casual. So I'm not going to take as much makeup. And I like to take things that will do double duty for me. So I'm going to pack my mineral sunscreen. This also can kind of serve as like a light foundation or something. It's got a good tint to it. So I'm going to pack this. But this is probably the only thing I'll pack double of. I'm going to pack another foundation just in case. I'm going to take my skin milk from CoverGirl because this is nice and lightweight and um, it's just really easy to use. So if I do want to put on a little bit more foundation, this isn't taking up a ton of room. I don't have to worry about it breaking, but it also just like works really well to cover up my skin. Um, I do also want to mention that I tend to check my bags, but I think almost everything I usually pack could be um, carried on as well. So that's something to consider too when you're packing your makeup. Um, for my primer, I think I'm just going to take one primer while I'm home. Um, and I'm actually going to take a travel size of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this, this found, or primer. Um, it just works really, really well. Um, and I think it's beautiful and I happen to have a little travel size of it. So it works out perfectly. Um, so this is a great one. I always love to travel with this. So for my concealer, I'm actually going to take home my... Um, instant age rewind again this is a more casual trip so I don't need a ton of like coverage or anything but you know just maybe to cancel out those dark circles if I am going to wear makeup this is a great one um, this is one of my favorite all-time go-to concealers so this is a really good one for powders I'm just going to take this scent one this is actually the Jane Ardell this is their um, translucent uh, SPF powder. So I'm going to throw this in there in case I need to like throw on more SPF throughout the day or anything if I'm wearing makeup. Um, it's a really, really good one, but I'm not going to use this as like my overall face powder. I'm going to show you what I'll use next. So in terms of like 
blush, bronzer, and highlight for my trip home. I'm going to keep it really simple and just take this one palette. I love the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit because it has everything I need. So I have my face powder, I have a couple bronzers, a blush, and a highlight. So I can just take this one palette and be done with it. I don't have to take a separate powder. I don't have to take separate blush, bronzers, and highlights. I can do it all with here with this. And I can also use this as an eyeshadow palette. So it just makes it really, really easy to travel with. And I just really love this palette. It does so many things. It works so, so well. Um, I am going to just throw in this e.l.f. shadow stick just in case I want something a little bit, you know, different on my lids. This is something really easy to travel with. It's not a liquid, so I don't have to worry about it. And it just works really well. So I'm going to throw this in there as well. And then the only things I have left are my eyebrows and mascara and stuff. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to take my NYX powder brow pencil. This just works really well. I know it's going to be beautiful um, and it's easy to travel with, so I love that. I'm also going to take my Gimme Brow. I have been loving this from Benefit. It's amazing. It is more expensive, but oh my gosh, is it so good. So I'm going to take my Gimme Brow as well. I'm going to take this new mascara with me because I've been loving it so far. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. I do have the waterproof version, um, and I've just been really enjoying this. I'm gonna, I would take this home with me as well. And then finally, I'm just going to take one lip product, and that's the Lux. Uh, lip oil from ColourPop. I couldn't think of the word. This is just really pretty. It's going to go with anything I do in terms of those looks. Um, and it's just really, really pretty. So this is all the makeup I'm taking. It is not a lot. Like I said, I tend not to take a lot home with me because I know we're not going to do anything crazy. So I am not going to pack a lot of makeup. So I'm just going to throw this all in here. Um, I'm not going to like put it in any order because there's not a lot in here. So it should all be fine, really easy in my bag, no problem. And then for my brushes, I'm just going to take a few brushes just to get, like, do my makeup, um, but nothing crazy. So I'm literally just going to take a powder brush, a highlight brush, bronzer, and a blush brush. So these are my face brushes. Just those four, they're all from Real Techniques and I just love all of these. They work so well and I just know how they perform so they're really easy to use. Oh, I have sponges in here. I'm not gonna take any makeup sponges because I just, I can use my fingers for everything else. And then for eyeshadows, I'm just gonna take two fluffy brushes just in case. I like a flat brush for underneath my lash line. Um, and I think that's it because I can use my fingers for anything else I might need. So that's all I'm going to do. So in terms of like traveling home like that, where I know I'm going something casual, this is all I'm taking. It doesn't take up a lot of room, um, but they're separate. So I can, you know, don't worry I'm anything exploding or anything. And I, these are all carry on friendly, but like I said, I do check. So in terms of where I put my makeup, at least in my suitcase, what I like to do for my suitcase is I will put down like a layer of clothes first, then put my makeup, my skincare, anything like that in the middle, and then put another layer of clothes on top. So they're kind of cushioned from both sides so you don't break anything. So that's kind of where I like to pack that stuff. All right, let me put all this back and then I'll show you where I would take on like a longer trip or, you know, something that I'm going to need like more makeup for like a nicer look like a dinner out or a wedding or something okay now if i'm going to like a bigger event i'm going to take two different primers with me i'm going to take first of all a pore filling primer this tarte smoothing primer is amazing so i love that um and i'm also going to take the becca first light prime or backlight priming filter again super glowy and pretty just a little bit different from the first light but i just love this one so so much as well um and in terms of foundation i'm still gonna take my cerave mineral sunscreen so this can work as like my lighter weight foundation with my concealer i'm gonna bring which i'll talk about in a second so i'm still gonna take that and then in terms of um other foundation i'm gonna take something more like this this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation it's gonna give me a little bit more coverage 
and work really well with the CeraVe tinted moisturizer thing as well. So if I just need a little bit more coverage, like I said, we're going to a bigger event or something, I might take a foundation more like this. And then like I said, for my concealer, I'm going to take the, Char the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer because what I love about this is I can use my CeraVe mineral sunscreen and this together and have like a little bit more of a full coverage look, but not like with a full coverage foundation. So, you know, this can help kind of act as my second foundation that I put on top of this. This will give me the coverage that I need that maybe this doesn't. So I love to take like a more full coverage concealer. And then I'm gonna take a few cream products as well. Um, again, these will work double duty if I need them to, but they're just great cream products. So the first one I'm gonna take is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine and Balance Foundation Stick. I have this in a darker shade and I use this as like a contour bronzer color and it works really, really well for me. Um, I could use this on my eyelids and stuff too if I need to. So again, double duty if it needs to. And then I would take a cream blush as well. This one is from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies Matte in the shade Beach Babe. And again, double duty here. The color is gorgeous, um, but I could use this as a lipstick. I could use it as a blush, eye eyeshadow, anything. It goes everywhere um, and it works so, so well. So again, another great double duty product. And then finally, I would take a little highlighter. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Um, I believe this is the shade Sunlight. I don't remember. It's like rubbing off. But I just have this little baby travel size that's lasted me so, so long. But again, such a beautiful highlight. I could use it on my eyelids, anywhere I need to. It's just really, really pretty. So those would be the cream products I would take. And like I said, if I'm going to a bigger event, I'm going to want a few like cream products to go under my powders just to make them last longer. All right, and then in terms of powders, if I wanted to save some room, I would take that same Cali Contour Kit again. It works so well, it's so beautiful. So I, that's definitely an option. If I want to take individual blushes and bronzers, um, I'm gonna go with my tried and true favorites. So in terms of highlight, I'm gonna take the Ofra uh, Highlight in Rodeo Drive. This is just so, so beautiful. It works so well, such a pretty color. Um, and I just, I'm trying to get like a natural light. And it's just so, so pretty. So this would be the highlighter I would take. It is a little bulky, so it's not like the best highlight to travel with, but I just love it so much. This would definitely be like my go-to highlighter. And then for blush and bronzer, I would take my beloved Cover FX Monochromatic Blush and Bronzer Duos. I have the bronzer in Suntan Bronze and the blush in Warm Honey. These are just so beautiful. Um, they work so, so well. And again, these would work double duty. You could definitely do um, eye looks with these. And same with the, the Rodeo Drive highlighter. You could definitely make like a whole eyeshadow look out of these um, and they'd be beautiful. So if you don't want to pack an eyeshadow palette, you could definitely still get a really pretty look with these. But like I said, if I know I'm going to an event, I'm going to pack probably one big eyeshadow palette or maybe two small ones. So right now, if I'm going to pack a big eyeshadow palette, it's going to be my Naked Urban Decay Wild West palette. This is just so, so pretty. Um, gives me tons of different looks. I could do a casual look. I could do a fancy look. Anything I wanted to do with this, I could do. Um, so this would be a great one to travel with. Again, it is a little big and bulky. So it might not be the best one to travel with, but this is going to be the one I take on our road trip. So I'm going to leave that out for now. Um, in terms of smaller palettes, these two are also great to travel with. These are the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows. These are beautiful. I have the shades. Let's see what colors these are. Uh, pumpkin Pie and Rose Water. Um, and these are just beautiful. You can definitely get a really pretty look for like a big event or just every day with these. So you can pack both of these and they're not gonna take up like any space at all. So um, I love to travel with these guys as well. All right, and then for uh, brows again, I'm gonna take, um, again, my NYX powder brow pencil, my Gimme Brow, and the Falsies Last Lift. Again, these just work really well. I know how they work. So I'm gonna take those. 
And then for lips, I'm going to take a few extra things for lips. I'm still going to put the Luxe lip oil in there because it's gorgeous and it just works really well. But I'm also going to throw in this Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Toffee. Um, it's just really, really pretty. It works really well. Um, you can use it on its own or over something. It definitely has enough color. You could use it on its own. So I'd love to take this with me. And the last one is the L'Oreal Infallible. I don't even know if they make these anymore, unfortunately. Hopefully they do. Um, but I just really love this one. It just works really well. Such a pretty color. And I know it's going to go with pretty much any look I do. So I just like to take a couple nudes um, just to like be safe and, you know, have a few things with me. And then the last thing I forgot, I'm going to put my all-nighter in probably both of the packings. I put this all-nighter in the just in case for um, setting sprays. I think this is slightly too big to be checked though or to be carried on. So you might have to either check this or get the travel size, but um, I just love all nighter. So I definitely do that. So when I have this much makeup, let me move tilt you up a little bit, makeup to put in this bag, what I like to do is put the more like solid things at the bottom. So like the setting spray, um, the like cream stuff. Stuff I don't have to worry about like breaking. I'm gonna put that stuff kind of at the bottom. Just to give the other stuff a little bit of like cushion if like it gets set up or anything like that um and then put the glass bottles in next Hope you guys can see that and then put the powders kind of on top just to give them you know some extra wiggle room i don't even know if this is gonna fit in this bag yeah see this is the problem with this palette it's so big and bulky that doesn't even fit in my bag um so again, I'd put this like in between some clothes and stuff to keep it safe. And then what I would do with this palette, if I really wanted to take it, is I'd wrap it up in some socks or, you know, a pair of jeans or something. So that way it's like safe and protected and not getting bumped around. Um, but that's the makeup. And then in terms of brushes, I'm going to take a few extra brushes than I did last time. So first of all, I'm going to take a sponge. These are Real Technique sponges. I love them. I'm still going to take my powder brush, my bronzer brush. Um, I'm gonna take a slightly different highlighter brush. This one's a little bit smaller and just works to make it like a little bit more focused. So I like that for like special events and stuff. My blush brush. And then I'm also gonna take a few extra fluffy brushes. So instead of just those two fluffy brushes. I'm gonna take four just in case. You never know when you need a fluffy brush. I'm also gonna take kind of like a dense, flat little small shader for any, you know, things I wanna put in the center of my lid or anything. I'm gonna take an angle and a flat brush just so I have options if I wanna do like a wing liner or anything. Um, and also to go underneath my, eye, my lid. And then I'm just going to take a thicker flat shader if I want to do any, uh, like, just glitter or shimmer on my whole lid. This is a great one. But that's all the brushes I'm going to take, too. It's not too many. It still all fits in this bag nice and easily. They're still all separate, so I don't have to worry about anything getting dirty. So that's what I would take on, like, a bigger trip. Or, you know, I'm going to a wedding or something. I know I'm going to need a couple different looks. That's what I would take with me and how I would pack it. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed me showing you how I pack for my different trips, my travel makeup. Um, if you have any like travel makeup tips or tricks or whatever, leave me a comment down below so we can all, you know, get some new tips and tricks. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.